Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. These are the cigars that, actually, these are the cigars that I'm gonna be sending to one of you for your week of smoking. So that's why I'm actually not uh, lighting any of these up at the moment because I'm going to choose somebody and send all five of these for your week of smoking. So starting with number five this week, we have the Bloodline. This is the OPA Bloodline in the Maduro or the Brunette. And for a quick refresher, I have done a review of this. I actually did a whole visit to this guy's lounge. Um, he's up in Fresno, the Cigars Limited, and this is actually a line that he produces, but they're available in different locations. And you can also order them online. But the blood line, the OP and the A stand for um, Oliva, Perez, and Aganorsa. These are growers that have roots back to Cuba that are now in Nicaragua, huge growers, by the way. And it's a great stick, very flavorful. It's actually using a very unique process. It's a soft crush fermentation. So completely different than anybody else. I don't know of anyone else that's doing that. If they are, they're not talking about it. So I haven't uh, personally come across anybody that's doing that, but great flavors. Um, there's a lot of Ligero in this cigar, but you won't necessarily get that bite from it because of that process. It actually takes away like any of that bitterness. So it's just an interesting, um, process and again to provide nice flavor so that's going out to number five uh, number four is actually completely off the uh, it doesn't fit i guess in the in the whole lineup because it is a not really infused but i guess it's an, an herbal fusion i guess is what he calls it this is the upsetters and this particular one is the small axe this is made by Foundation Cigars, Nick Malio. For anybody who knows him, he's a huge reggae guy. In fact, the whole entire line, there's uh, multiple sizes in the Upsetters and they're all a little bit different. But this one again is the Small Axe and it's named after a uh, Bob Marley song, I believe. Um, anyways, it's using Jamaican and Nicaraguan tobacco and it's still long filler. The Jamaican, it's it's a process of this herbal fusion that he does. And again, it's not a lot of information about it because it is like a, a secret type of a thing that's going on there. But again, it is a flavored quote unquote cigar. So it's not gonna give you those traditional just tobacco profiles of those notes. This one, you're actually gonna get um, herbal, like a sweet tea, a toast, you get cinnamon notes you get a little bit of pepper but you do get that infused feeling um you know from this smoke but it is interesting and it's actually one i'm not huge on the flavored cigars in fact i probably can count how many times i've ever smoked a flavored cigar however once in a while it's a nice change up to begin your morning or again if you have somebody perhaps that you're trying to get into cigars with you, maybe that's a nice little transition to give them something like that instead of just a full-fledged, um, you know, full-on regular cigar with, without any of those types of infusion notes. So just something different. Which brings me to number three. This is a very tasty Lancero. This is the Protocol Probable Cause. It's made in Nicaragua at the La Zona factory, so made by Eric Espinosa, or at his factory rather. And it's a box press Lancero, so a lot of fun. It is a true Lancero, seven and a half by 38, um, but just a beautiful stick, very flavorful. This one is actually featuring a San Andres Maduro wrapper, um, Nicaraguan binder and filler. So with this one, you get the chocolates, the cedars, dried cherry, you get um, some pepper profiling on there. I don't know if I already said cedar, but you get a little bit of that as well. I did have somebody that was asking about uh, I think it was a couple weeks back about what are some good cigars that have the San Andres Maduro. So this is one of them, very flavorful. Um, but yeah, number two is going out to La Paulina, Mr. Sam, another beautiful Lancero. Sorry, I know there's a few of you that probably don't enjoy the Lancero sizes. I, in fact, I have a viewer that has been requesting that I do the larger ring gauges. I just don't have a lot of the larger ring gauges. I probably, I try and grab like the largest ones that I have. This one not, is not the largest, of course, but Lanceros are great. Um, it's definitely a personal preference, but it's my personal preference. I love them. Um, 
those of you who have tried them, maybe you really enjoyed them, maybe you just the words not for you, which is fine. But again, just great flavor, more concentration on the wrapper in this size. So you're getting a lot of the flavor from the wrapper versus some of the larger sizes where you're getting more of the flavor from, you know, the filler um, tobacco because there's more of it basically. So going back to the Mr. Sam, beautiful band, beautiful packaging, um, wonderful Lancero. This one is featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. You get the coffee notes in this one, white pepper. You get some dried fruit. Um, you get the red and black pepper cedar. Uh, just a nice stick. Really enjoy pretty much a lot of the, or almost all of the La Paulina line. This one I think is made in Miami at the El Titan de Bronce factory, which I've been to. And really cool. But anyways, great flavor. Love the La Paulina line, especially Mr. Sam. Wonderful stick. Which brings us to number one. This is the La Aurora 107, but it's the Cosecha 2006. So that's basically the, some of the tobacco in here comes from a vintage harvest from 2006. So not all of it, of course, just some of it that's in the filler. The um, breakdown of this cigar is actually that it has an Ecuadorian wrapper, it has a Brazilian binder, and then Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. Again, some of that coming from that vintage crop of 2006 and again limited edition limited production i should say so this came out a couple years ago i think they launched it in 2016 i want to say just going off memory i believe it was 2016 um so, but again limited supply on these because of the fact that they're using a crop that's not um it's an aged it's a it's a special vintage type of a a crop that's in this so really tasty on this cigar um, again I don't I only had a couple of these which is why I'm not smoking these right now I'm gonna give give away um, this particular lineup to somebody watching but great cigar on this one you get the creamy uh, it's actually a really creamy smoke you get the little bits of the black pepper mixed in you have a very um, aged cedar kind of a charred oak background but really good flavor profile on this one and as I mentioned, I'm going to be giving away uh, this five pack to one of my viewers. This is what you have to do to enter to win. Um, basically, I just want to know when's your favorite time to smoke. So let me know in the comments what type of what time of day do you prefer to smoke? Is it morning, afternoon, night, all of the time, first thing, whatever, be creative. So looking for an answer for that and make sure that with your comment that you post uh, your Instagram name and make sure you're following me on Instagram. So follow, make sure you're following me on Instagram and post your Instagram name in the comment. And with your comment, let me know what your favorite time of day to smoke is. I'll be choosing one winner and sending this five back too. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday. Cheers.